Good morning, everybody. Greetings from Fredericks, Maryland. Uh, well, let's try this IHOP breakfast. I kind of like their uh, beef steak breakfast. Thank you. Welcome. Black coffee. Are you ready to order? Or you need more yeah, I'll take this I'll one here. Tips. The sirloin tips. How you like your eggs on there? Uh, over easy. Does that come with pancakes? It does. Steak tips come with pancakes and the hash browns and your eggs and uh, meat comes with onions and mushrooms. Okay, can I have the pancake after the meal? Hold the pancakes. Yeah. You can do that. I don't like cold pancakes. Do you need any ketchup or with the meal today? Mmm, nah. I'll take the menu, please. Okay. No and if anything else, my buddy over here will be out of the Okay. Just Thank you. Keep it back with the drinks. Yep. Breakfast is done. Look at that. The trees around here are almost full of leaves. They're sprouting, flowering. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, go back to the yard. I guess my boss is waiting for me. He's back from his vacation. That means I don't get to keep the truck. <laughs> I made him a deal. If he can't get back to the country, I get to keep the truck. Hey, yeah, wouldn't you know it? He he came back, so that's okay. 
man, that fifth wheel is dry. Okay, I'll be right back. Peace. There, let's get going.
but we'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey everybody, John to be good here. Okay, we are on our way to Moorfield, West Virginia. Um, I had to wait for my boss to come to the yard, gave me my beautiful paycheck. And uh, it turns out that the trailer that I was supposed to be hooking up to had some minor issues. Thankfully that the yard that we're leased to, uh, except, oh, well, we just lease a little part of it, I guess. It's got a shop right there. If I would tell you the owner of uh, this yard, you would know it in a heartbeat. They're not, they're not that big of a company, but they're, they're out there. They're, they're big enough for you guys to be able to have seen them. Anyway, so uh, I had that taken care of. The fifth wheel needed some grease. I also uh, got a brand new seat belt, which I had to go and I'll have to install that some other time because the mechanic had to go to lunch. And the seat belt that I got, well, the new one that I'm, I have yet to install. It's uh, the material is a lot softer. It doesn't dig into your skin. It doesn't get stuck either. So that's pretty cool. This old ones, you know, and are tough. That's why I mostly drive with a jacket on or a sweater. Then I could use the collar of my shirt or my sweater here to protect my neck from uh, scaffing, uh, scaffing or scuffing. Yeah, there you go. Otherwise, at the end of the day, I'll be raw. Anyway, today is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Let's go pick up this load and, man, let's go home. I so want to go home and stay home for a couple days. And, uh... Fortunately, or fortunately, fortunately, my boss keeps me so busy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I told him, I said, man, if I hadn't known what I was getting into when I get here, when I came here, I don't know. I think I had it made. I would, with the other company, I would sit at the house two, three days, even four days sometimes waiting for a load for California, get to California, do another reset, and I had it made. The wife wasn't happy about the paycheck, but I was relaxed. Over here, you work me to death. But I told them, I said, you know, at least at the end of the week, you're very consistent with the paycheck. Which is true, I mean, it, he might be a hundred dollars off some weeks. It could be higher than a hundred bucks or less than a hundred bucks. But at least at the end of the week, that's what it all matters is all the the numbers and the zeros. Well, I shouldn't really say zeros and make it sound like a million bucks. 
no. But I think I'm really, it's safe to say I'm doing really a lot better now than I did before. Especially when uh, you'd never guess who called uh, my boss. Well, a certain employee from a certain trucking company that I used to work for actually called him and wanted to come over. He said he's been sitting, you know, for a, a lot of times because the freight is slow. Supposedly the freight is very slow right now. And here I am like, really? Freight is slow? What are they gonna do to me when the freight gets busy? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just say, you know, I think, I think that everything came right into place, fall into place at the perfect time. I just really think so. Got somewhere around 128 miles to Moorfield. So let's go get our cash bands because I only have two dollars on my wallet right now. Hell, that paycheck, that check you ain't gonna do me any good till I deposit it to the bank. But by the time I get home, it'll all be gone. <laughs> I don't know, man, it just seems like not fair. My wife would rather pay all those bill collectors than give me some of it. I don't know why they come first. Ha ha ha. I said, honey, mamang, you know that uh, paycheck I gave you uh, yesterday? How much is left? Can I, can I get this? He says, yeah, there's two dollars left. You can have it. Uh, but in all seriousness and honesty, uh, I got a good wife, man. I just, sometimes she drives me nuts because she's got that AH, AHDT or ESPN or DTH or HHD or HD or I don't know what all those words are. She can't sleep at night without paying the bills. So she, she, she's gotta pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. Which I'm kind of glad, but it drives me nuts sometimes in my in my own selfishness. <laughs> well, once again, I had wasted your what ten minutes of your time, which you'll never get back. Oh boy! But if you want some more, stay tuned for more JVG travels adventures right here. Uh huh. Peace. Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Greetings from Hagerstown, Maryland. Okay, we are uh, we're gonna be merging onto Interstate 81 South here towards Roanoke. Roanoke. We are on our way to Moorfield, West Virginia.
but first we're gonna head to the uh, Flying J and get us some go-go juice and my $100 cash bands. Woohoo! I'd be a very rich man today. A hundred dollars richer, anyway. <laughs> what March 25th right yeah holy smokies I think time is in a warp speed now look at the greenery look at look look at it look 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 at it look at it man Nobody can do it better than Allie. You know, I often wondered, what would I do? How would I react if I meet Allie? I'd probably go gaga. I would probably have to duct tape my mouth to my head, preventing it from dropping down the, on the ground, I don't know. Don't get me started about her motorcycle. Ooh, a beautiful biker chick. Sorry, Allie, just couldn't resist. Anyway, way too much. Tony Dalvo, Johnny, just a little bit. Uh huh. Peace.